Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. North Carolina State and Clemson are on the field. Kickoff is looming for the Wolfpack and the Tigers. This rivalry is important as these two square off in the textile bowl. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Textile Bowl, a rivalry that dates back to 1899. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Gathered in at the 6. Tackle at the 31-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Frustrating for this defense. And they make the stop around the 44 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Tackle around the 47 yard line. Makes it third and seven. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy. Big dog! Big dog! Rose and it's knocked away. And that will make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. And now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Brown is back deep to return the punt. Clemson's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Third and a couple. Ball on the 31-yard line. Tackled around the 28-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Uh, 
He gets out to about the 45-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Myron, the ball carrier, runs outside for a nice game. fortunate that wasn't intercepted not a very smart decision by the quarterback he had no shot at completing it third and two coming up here ball on the 48 yard line swings it out there incomplete they're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here And he's taken down at the 21. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. He steps up. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Aaron and out long, and it's picked off. Tackle made at about the 49. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a team four one way. That makes it second and six. Mike 12, Mike 12. Navajo. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Fires right side, got his tail back. And down he goes at the 47 yard line. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He's out to the 30, and they push him out around the 29-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 29. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. Under heavy pressure. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He's got it out to his tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. We've played one. Now this one's scoreless. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets out to around the 25. First down. They'll bring him down right around the 16-yard line. That brings him second and nine. Tailback. He makes it to the 15 yard line. And now he pitches it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 13 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it first and ten. He's tackled right around the 12-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's taken down around the two-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Touchdown, Tigers! And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Action right now at Boise. And for Stanford, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. And for Sanders, he stuck it in the end zone twice. Boise State leads it 21-7 to early in the second quarter. And for the Tigers, they'll be monitoring that score carefully, I'm sure, because if they pull out a victory today, they're going to move up in the polls. They line up to kick this one away. Taken at the five. 
He makes it to the 28-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Brought down at the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Quick throw. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 27-yard line. Second down. The Tigers running back left the game earlier with that injury. And what we're hearing now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to return to action today. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. And now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. This one's going deep to the end zone. Can't connect. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson is up by a touchdown. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. made at the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. First down. He's hit and taken down. And down he goes around the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. quickly to the tailback and he's taken down right around the 32 yard line Robertson gains about five yards on the play we've got a second and five ball on the 32 yard line Clemson is up seven gives it up the gut and he's stopped behind the line 
If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. The Tigers use their second timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays quick throw they'll bring him down at about the 43 yard line five maybe six on that screen pass and I thought this play was going to go for more yards but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield they'll line up with five wide receivers and he's sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And he's tackled at the 25 yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, Pack. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 63-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. So we've played two quarters. We're even at seven in this one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Nobody's been able to run the football in the first half. Neither ground game really got anything going. And you know, an offensive line, David, has to work in unison. They have to be like the Rockettes. They have to be in perfect step. And these guys, they were dancing to their own tune. That's the biggest Rockettes I've ever seen. Goodness gracious. Ugliest ones, too. Yeah. Uh, well, the big fat boys do have to work together. The big uglies, and they got to step together. But And you can't allow guys to run through clear. And you, and you see tackles for a loss, especially in the run game, when it's this unsuccessful in the first half, you know they're not all working together. And there's too many guys that are getting penetration and making plays. So they got to get it shored up. Run blocking is the thing they like to do the best. They like to get their big meat hooks on you, grab you, and hold you. And you know, to be honest, they got to do a better job of it if they want to get some successful running game going in the second half. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. Just going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Pick up 
A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Gets out to around the 48. That's good for the end of the yards. First down. Down! Runs it and tackled in the backfield. That was a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. He's looking for six. Missed him. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He tackles him for a loss. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 19-yard line. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Toss is out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. Adams makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. That will bring up third and two. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. And it looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Brown is back to receive. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. Him hard at the 33. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Gets out to around the 18. 
first down. Okay, right left, right left. Go down, go down. 23 in the fight. The 10. Touchdown, Clemson. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25. The Cornhuskers keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Pater. Mosley's trying to put up big numbers in this one, and he is off to some kind of start, already with three touchdown passes. The Cornhuskers on top by three. Midway through the fourth quarter. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese. 14-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They give to the tailback. He makes it to the 32-yard line. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. No game. That makes it 37. Just throws this one away, and that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Thompson is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. NC State's the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Fakes to the back. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at about the 31. Clemson is up a score. And he just gets rid of it. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. He gets hit out of bounds at the 15. That makes it second and six. The 10. And they make the stop around the three yard line. That's a deal with 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Watch 23. Watch 23. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. Tacks on the extra point. 
Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at what's going on in the top 25. Let's take a look at this one again. The Wildcats hammer that running game and score a touchdown. The Wildcats on top by four. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And we're back to return. Fine. From the six. Oh, what a hit. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And off to the left. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Clemson's in front by 14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. third down. Just throws this one away. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Tackle at the 29. Nowhere to go there. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. You knew that return was doomed as soon as he put his hands on the ball. With the field as messy as it is, he wasn't going anywhere. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets rid of this one. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 35. Now I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Focus, defense, focus. Blue 19. Blue 19. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant call against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down.
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Dives for extra yardage. Point. A quick update now. Here's Reed. The Cornhuskers were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Nebraska, they continue their winning ways. And for Mosley, he pitched it around for more than 250 yards. The Cornhuskers pull it out by a field goal in another game. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. The Owls unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. Joseph is a devastating weapon in the passing game. He is right on target today with three touchdown passes. The Owls lead 24-17. Three touchdown ball game here, Reese, 28-7. Coleman has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 30. NC State's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from this team. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. He's at the 40. Going over the middle, intercepted. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. He's taken down just outside the goal line. That brings him second and goal. He's in, another touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 36-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Clemson ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Gets out to about the 21. The Tigers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. 
One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Just under two to go in the game. Little screen pass. He's out to the 30. Brought down around the 32-yard line. He's at midfield, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. From the 42-yard line, first down. bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Catches it, and that's all. A pickup of four on the play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. North Carolina State will take their first time out of the half. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Looks middle, got his back, and they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. Under a minute left. Throw is complete, he's got room to work. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And that one's incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. should be the football game. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Clemson 35, North Carolina State 7. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.